Alrighty, so I can beat the uh, Pharaoh thingy now. I've got everything is totally upgraded, except for the upgrade that shall not be named. And... Still not cheating, just thought I'd show that. What else? Oh, and I disabled the moving background, because that makes the file size huge. But Matt's pretty much the best way to take this guy down. At least in my experience. Uh, for one thing, he has an extra bomb. I kind of forgot to use that extra bomb, but uh, it would have come in handy if I did use it. But his uh, sub-attack is pretty good, and it also helps you take down uh, these dudes in the start. And initially, I didn't think about killing these dudes was that important, but uh, you need to kill 90% of the enemies in a level to get an A rank, uh, plus a certain amount of hits. So I would have gotten an A rank earlier, but ow. Okay. Restarting. But as playing as Anna, I couldn't kill 90% uh, of them because most of them are behind walls and stuff. But with this sub weapon, it's really easy to do that actually. So it goes through walls and such. And this sub weapon helps against the boss too because it does crazy damage, especially if you can spam it a few times. But you have to get close, of course. Why are you lagging now? Probably shouldn't be doing this at 720p, but whatever. Not that the P is relevant when you're recording on a computer. Okay, die now. Thank you. Oh, are you kidding? Ah, whatever. If you can stay close to him, the sub-attack rips him up. But, ow, yeah, don't stay close to him. On certain attack waves, that's a very, very bad idea. There we go. Crap. If you get invincibility frames, I just take the cheap route and uh, go and spam him with the sub-attack. Damn it. Speaking of... Okay, for this attack, I found a secret. If you can be quick, you can fake out his attacks. It's really wide, so if you stay at the bottom, they're almost impossible to dodge. Uh, you can still dodge them. They have those openings, but uh, it is much, much more convenient to just oh, have bombs. You can probably beat him entirely for, with bombs right now. I definitely can, with a bomb to spare. Two bombs to spare. I could have taken at least one... Probably two less hits, at least. If I remember to use my damn bombs, but I did not. I even took too many hits to get an A rank. Alright. Bows of Darkness. I have not even tried this level. We're just we're gonna play it with Anna. Always getting much longer and items drop rare. I thought I, I I had noticed that. Try not to lose much health and bombs early on. Losing bombs early on is not a problem with me. Oh. Let's get our auto fire back on. Turn it on. Turn it off with Matt, because there's kind of a reason not to auto fire, but I still just auto fire 90% of the time. I was initially worried this game was going to end up being too easy, but it really just has a nice difficulty curve at the start, so you could actually get into it even if you don't like the bullet hell games. But not too quickly but not too slowly it does get into the real difficulty, like this. Though, um, length, I'm not sure if I like the idea of it, everything being, like, super longer. Like, that level before the Pharaoh boss, kind of annoying. Ow. Bomb. Ooh, diamonds. Just when I don't need them at all. I can't use money anymore. Oh, hello! Um... Stupid dragons. Die. You're not so tough. Except that there's a lot of you. That is a lot of fire. I think it's kind of funny that I picked up on uh, the items getting longer, or the items getting rarer and levels getting longer, 
just before he decided to, like, say that. Oh, hey! Shield. But now I'm actually appreciative of the shield and such. But at the same time, I'm not sure you need to make items so common in the early levels since they are so easy, but whatever. A big thing in any game, especially a difficult game, is to not make it too hard early on, because people will just quit. People will quit really early on for what seem like really stupid reasons, and you just have to deal with that and avoid that as best you can. And as long as it doesn't harm, like, the majority of the game, I don't really care if the beginning's a bit too easy, even. So if the level's gonna be longer, I would almost want... Oh, it's over. Um, an indication of how long the level is, like, how far along you are in the level would be good. I've noticed some game, some blood hell things do do that. I'm running out of tips. Well, that's excellent. And lava. Also, we've got some nice new music in this area. And lots of fire. And shield. Yeah, you get to shield, it's just like, eh, screw it, I'm gonna fly around like a moron. What I really like about Anna's stuff is that it's just... You pretty much just hold down... You don't even have to hold down the button. You just set it up and forget it, and you can focus on dodging. Which is obviously important. Even if you're terrible at dodging like I am. Oh, hey, buddies. Bye, buddies. Well, and part of my frustration um, with the last couple levels, I'm sure, is because... I have three hearts instead of however the hell many I'm supposed to have by now. So, you know, it's going to be harder, but I do intend to do the whole game without uh, hearts, including the, uh, I want to do the special levels too. So I'll be doing all of that on camera. No cheats, no, um, no more hearts. And when it said to save your bombs, I figured there'd be, like, more mini-boss things. I guess there were mini-bosses in the first one. But I'm just never sure when to use my bombs. That's always a problem. Oh, thingies. Yes. Whoa. Oh, hello. Um, goodbye. Ow. Okay, that would have been a good time to use a bomb. I was sort of disarmed by how amazingly quickly that guy died. I was going to use a bomb, and it's like, oh, like, one second in, you're already dead. Maybe it's... oh, hello. Goodbye. Maybe that was their plot the whole, all along. Did I just beat another level with two bombs left? I did, didn't I? Metal earned! Probably for lots of money get... Let's see, new level unlocked yet, yeah... Let's see, there's... Oh yeah, that's for using... Basically, you use a bomb to kill a bunch of enemies. You know what these are. Tree hugger. What? 5,000... There it is! Finish the enemy level with 3,000 coins. So that's a good level to get that on. Apparently. Wired for war. I expect robotic enemies. Missiles don't count as foes, so they don't get points. Well, that sucks. I like points. Kinda. Hello, robots. Ow. Sort of a more generic shoot 'em up firing pattern going on right now. But nothing wrong with the classics. That's more like it. Come on, robots, get your head in the game. You call yourself robots. Okay, that was better. They're firing holy hand grenades at me. Oh, I died. I should probably use bombs. 
missile. I'm assuming those holy hand grenade things are what's being referred to as missiles there. They don't have the stereotypical silo shape of a missile though. So I wasn't really thinking about that. Not that I was killing them for points. Actually, I wonder if I just leave them alone if they don't detonate. That would be kind of cheap. But I don't know. Actually, it's kind of hard not to hit them with this mess going on. But that's what I like about Anna. It's hard not to hit enemies. That's always a good thing. Well, sort of. Unless they're things you're not supposed to shoot. Money. See how long it takes you to die. Oh, not actually that long. Not sure I was panicking about those guys. Better weapon, yay. Oh, these are the missiles. Yeah, that, that looks more like a missile. Oh, hello. It's freaking aerial bombardment. Also, I really would like that ding that lets you know when your uh, thing is fully charged, your sub-weapon. So I always forget, um, whenever my sub my sub weapon with Anna goes down, I tend to just forget that it's gone, or not notice, and then I forget to put it back up. Of course, I'm going to be putting out a lot less damage if that's the case. Oh, they just explode when they're at your, uh, height or something, which is kind of annoying right now. Um... Bomb. <laughs> that would have been tricky to go through. Uh, don't get behind them, I guess. There's the lesson there. My things are going again. Ow! Stupid. Explodey thingies. Oh, I was just gonna use a bomb. 95. Oh, you're kidding. That was the end of the level, wasn't it? I know. I tend to have a sense for when the end of the level is going to be. But you know it makes sense. It's generally a climax and a little cooldown period with a few less things. Also, I think I might have died to the last enemy. Which, that's actually a metal, too. It's uh, called Stray Bullet. It's for dying from a bullet with no enemies on the screen. So if you end up in that situation where a bomb kills you after it dies, you know, at least you get a medal, I guess. So I would be considerably less pissed off if I got that after dying uh, from a boss. Unless it was like the final boss or some shit. Ow. But dying to the final boss is kind of expected, so maybe I wouldn't be pissed. And kind of fortunately, I'm like, I'm fairly sure this game does not have a true final boss type thing, aside from the extra levels thing. I just hate when there's these magic conditions that the game does not tell you and blah blah blah. Ow. And you're supposed to know all of this crap to find out the, spe the true final boss, because bullet hell games like to do that to you. And sometimes it's just crap you would never think to do, and sometimes it's stuff that's actually really hard to do. It's actually usually both. I should just always use the bomb against these jerks. More fireworks. Always pretty. Okay, there we go. Throw caution to the wind. Yeah, items are definitely, like, way rarer. Okay, that, there we go. Oh! Hello! Not expecting you. Have some death. You're not having... You're not enjoying the death that I offered you. I'm offended. Death is the gift of my people. I bring it to you, and you, you reject it. <sighs> medal earned 20... Yeah, we got 20 medal. Wait. Shouldn't we have gotten another medal to make us get that? Oh, A rank and 20 more levels. 
Oh, these are based on A rank and levels, not number of medals. I hate the medals that you get for having medals. Oh, speaking of medals, um, one thing I'm annoyed by on the Congregate thing is that this game has one easy, two medium, and one hard badge, but it doesn't have an impossible one, and I find that very lame, because, you know, the whole game's about super difficulty and everything. Um, it just seems like it would be very fitting for it to have an impossible badge. Like, probably for um, the Three Heart Challenge. I would say Three Heart Challenge plus beating all four of these guys with only three hearts. I'd give an impossible. Um, that may just be because I'm, you know, that's what I'm doing. So I would like it, I would like the badge, but it's still, it's about the hardest thing you can do. Aside from forcing people to not upgrade other stuff. Plus large foes with charged up attacks, blah, blah, blah. But, yeah, I really think there should be an impossible badge for people that, you know, especially for the three heart challenge. So there's currently no reason to do that aside from wanting to. And, you know, it's not like people are going to be forced to do the impossible badge thingy. It's just a bonus for people that want to do it. Though, um, kind of glad there isn't a challenge like the uh, legendary mode in uh, Epic Battle Fantasy 3. I got to the final goddamn boss in that. I could never beat him It's so because it's so random and you die so easy and it takes so goddamn long. I gave up. I don't mind if it's extremely difficult, but if it's going to take forever, that's that's when I quit. Now, being extremely difficult can make me quit too, but if it's that end, it just takes forever. Blah, do not want. I'm gonna use a bomb for no reason. These guys seem like a good enough reason to use a bomb. Oh, these stupid monolith dudes. Should have expected I'd see you. These were like the most annoying normal enemy. Now these were the most annoying normal enemy in, uh, if you're on, what's it called mode? Ow. Legendary or whatever mode in Epic Battle Fantasy 3. They heal themselves for like 100% or some shit. They deal insane damage and I think they have instant death attacks. I forget all exactly what they have, but it's amazingly annoying. And for once, I'm probably going to regret running out of bombs. Maybe. But that would be new. I always welcome new experiences, like dying. Wait. In retrospect, that doesn't sound so good. There we go. It's these little dudes. It loots. Oops. Oh, I'm gonna miss so many kills. Crap. I can kill this side at least. Oh crap. I have three hearts. Please die. Excellent. Hooray. Bubble end, please. Looks like it. Yeah, it really could end a bit quicker. <laughs> Only 66%, that's terrible. Last level! Origin of Life. And it looks like an evil no legs and a good no legs. Speaking of no legs, let's play no legs again. I haven't played him forever. Thanks for playing. You're pretty cool. I am pretty cool. Thank you. Alright, that does that. I'm so not used to playing no legs anymore. But it looks pretty awesome now that he has uh, max normal attack. I'm not exactly sure how good it is compared to Anna and such, but seems okay. Uh, the badge for beating this level is also the point where he says, oh, hello. Um, you know, the badge explicitly says, hey, you can use cheats, and it's really hard if you don't, so... It's maybe somewhat difficult. But I kind of expect that out of a final boss, so I don't mind. <laughs> I was just gonna use a bomb, too. I always say that, but it really was. Oh, hello! That's more like it. 
easier than I was expecting so far. Ow. Though. Crap. Not too easy, though. Alright, I'm not liking low le no legs. Let's try Natty. I'm, I'm so gonna regret this. I do not like her in this game. I'm also not sure why she's slower. I don't entirely mind. I mean, I don't particularly need the full speed, but, uh... I'm just not sure why there is a balance issue that would require her being slower. I mean, it's not like she's uber great and she needs to be slowed down or something. And her attack is apparently amazingly weak against this guy. At least feels way weaker than, uh... Okay, bomb time. Yeah, I'm not gonna beat this guy. Um, okay, I'm never playing as Natty again. Um, but as long as one character is good, I don't really... I don't honestly care that much about the balance, but it would really be nice for a bit better balance, because it does seem like Natty is pretty useless. Um, the other three seem okay. Um, it just seems that once I got... Anna, that Lance suddenly became useless. But I was only using Lance because he spammed bullets. Speaking of spamming bullets, let's... get to spamming bullets. Also, how long is this recording, good lord? I probably should have stopped, and, uh... This is gonna be, like, 15 gigabytes again, I just know it. The horror. Damn, she can kill stuff! Look at that! beautiful. I love you so much right now, Anna. Okay, prove your worth. Don't die. Maybe. Alright, I should try Matt since he has the extra bomb. I'm not sure why he has an extra bomb either. It's not like, um, he seems like terrible and he needs an extra bomb to live or some shit. I guess maybe it's because he gets close. So, you know, um, you know, he's more likely to be hit because he's too close and stuff. I don't know. No. Bomb. Let's just see what the next attack wave is. Uh, that's a classic two. Nothing too original on the final boss, to be honest, but, uh, still nice classic bullet patterns that I like. Ah, that's nice. That is pretty. It's also slowing down, kind of, which is unfortunate. Also, oh, the moment after I activate the bomb is, of course, when it starts. Oh god, what are you doing? Oh god! No fair. No fair. I'm going to end the vid. Um, next time we will beat the final boss.